Here's how to change the font in Google Sheets. Here we have task list and our header, we want it to be a different font. I'm just going to select B1 here. I'm going to click on default here in the menu bar. Clicking on default here allows me to see a list of the recent fonts. And also on the bottom here, scrolling down, I can see a list of different fonts. I like to use Oswald. If you can't find it in your recent, you can scroll down to the O's here and see there is Oswald. I use this as a header font because it's really nice and thin. That allows me to type more characters here in the header and I increase that font size. If there's a font you cannot find here, click on more fonts and here we can type in fonts like Oswald and we can add fonts that are not yet in our Google Sheets. So we can just click on Fira Sans, click OK. And now Fira Sans exists in our list. If you want to change the font based on the condition in an A column or another column, select those cells you want, click format and conditional formatting. The options we have are not to change the font, but rather the formatting style. We have bold, italic, underline, strike through, we can change the text color and the fill color as well based on some rules that we put here. If we want to base it on the checkbox, we can say custom formula is equals a one equals true, change B to B. And we can change it to bold or underline or italics or strike through or all of the above. So now every time we click a checkbox, we're not changing the font, but we are changing the formatting style. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how to's, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is gonna be your next Google Sheet.